Hey everyone, it's Siobhan here. Today's hair idea is something that I'm calling the three French braid basket weave. I can't take complete and total credit for this hair idea. It's something that I saw on someone else's channel. Um, I've talked about it before. The channel is called Women's Beauty One. Uh, I really wish I knew the name of the hairdresser because she's fantastic. Anyway, um, she works on the back of a mannequin's head. So she um, has a different sort of perspective. She can kind of see what she's doing. She knows where all the sections are because she can see them. And when I first saw the video, I thought it was beautiful and I wanted to try it out, but of course it's always different trying to transfer something like that onto the back of your own head. Um, thankfully, I was able to kind of get it to look similar to hers, but it's not totally the same because my hair is also longer than the mannequins. But um, that's good news for you guys with shorter hair because she did this hair idea on shorter, like APL length hair. So uh, you guys can do this too. Um, what else can I say about it? Yeah, it's sort of like um, if you know how to do a waterfall braid where you drop strands, um, this shouldn't be too difficult. I'm going to try and go as slow as possible because it's still kind of new for me. I've also been practicing this all week in preparation for this video. Um, I have another, I actually do have another video that's very similar to it, which I will put in um, the underbar as well. It's like something that I saw on Tumblr. It was like a double-stranded something or other, I don't even remember the name of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, oh yeah, okay, so for this project you're gonna need clips like this, you're gonna need at least two hair elastics, um, you're definitely going to need like a handheld mirror so that you can see what you're doing in the back, you probably will end up needing maybe one or two bobby pins, maybe, or a clip like this, and um, some sort of hairbrush and a comb. The first thing I'm going to do is take off all of my jewelry. I just find that it's easier to, um, to braid when I don't have any rings or earrings on, so I'm just going to put my earrings off to the side. And I'm going to completely and totally brush out my hair. It's pretty detangled right now, but just in case. Um, because if there are any tangles, I've found that this is very difficult to do. It kind of throws you off. Now with my comb, I am going to go to the arch of my eyebrow and I'm going to use it kind of like, um, I guess like as a marker to make my first part because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dividing my hair into three sections and I'm going to have a fairly large section here in the middle, which is going to resemble, I guess, like a mohawk. Um, so I'm going here first. I'm going up and I'm just going to, oops, part, 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 all the way to the nape of my neck. Now you don't have to freak out if the line is a little bit zigzag, but um, the straighter you can get this, I think the better the actual end result will be. Now with this hair here, I am going to pigtail it. So this is my first section. So again, brushing my hair back. I'm going to use the arch of my eyebrow as a marker. And, oops, go there. Curving, curving, all the way to my neck. This is kind of what the parting should look like. A fairly large chunk in the middle and these two smaller ones here on the sides. This is the part where this starts to get a little bit harder. Um, if you've never done a waterfall braid where you drop strands and pick up strands, you should probably practice that a little bit first because in this braid you're going to be dropping two strands instead of one. So with my pigtails here, just to make this a little bit easier on myself, um, I am going to clip them together with my claw clip for now just to make sure that this excess hair doesn't get entangled with this hair up here. Section. I've taken a section from the middle here. I'm going to try and keep all the rest of my hair back. And what I'm going to do is divide it into three. Now technically I think you probably could do a Dutch braid, but I'm going to follow the original tutorial and do a French. So I've got three parts. I'm going to be starting with my left hand for whatever reason, it just feels more comfortable to me. So I'm going to take the strand, move it over, 
Okay, so that's my first pass. And now I'm gonna do one more pass just to get this whole thing started. And there you go. That's the first. Now, this is where it gets hard. You have to drop these side strands. You're always gonna be keeping the center strand, but you're dropping the side strands. So the first strand I'm dropping is the one that's on the left. And I'm going to pick up to a new strand here on the left. Now I'm gonna drop the strand that's here on the right and pick up a new right strand. And again, I'm gonna just use my comb for a moment to smooth it. Now you have to remember the pattern in which you're braiding. So as I said, the first strand that I folded over was my left, folded it over, and then my right. Now again, I'm keeping the middle strand, but I'm dropping my left, and I'm gonna pick up a new left. Now I need a new right. Holding my left strand over the middle first, and then I'm folding my right strand over. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of continue this down the center of your head. Now, these little clippies here are a godsend. And she actually did use clips like this in the original video. So I'm dropping my left strand. So by the time you get to about three strands that are dropped, you have space to use this clip. And I'm just going to stick it like that on the side of my head just to keep the strands kind of like from flying backwards or getting in my way. Now it might end up looking a little messy on the top like this. That's because the strands are loose. And if you have fine hair, this is especially hard to do on yourself, but not totally impossible. Um, one suggestion would be to try and work on wet hair and see how that goes. Holding over again. Left going over the middle first. And right going second. Now when you get to the very end, you have to decide what you're going to do with the braid because you're not going to be tying this off. So you've obviously got three strands. I'm going to, these two are so super thin, I'm going to combine them into one. And I'm going to take this one and just clip it off to the side with the other one. This clip out because I'm going to work on my right side first. So I've got these clipped out of the way um, as securely as I can get them. And I've got these random ones here. So it's going to look kind of something like that, sort of. <laughs> this is going to look a little funky, but um, stick with it because I think the end result is very pretty. I'm going to take my claw clip out of my pigtails because I don't need it anymore. And my first section is going to be over here. Now what you're kind of doing is you're tying all the sections in together. Um, as you would if you were doing like a double waterfall braid or something. And you're going to move these sections just back for a minute or wherever you can get them out of the way because you need a little room here on the side with this section. So making a part. I always have to lift my hands above my head. Um, dividing it in three, again I'm going to be doing a French, so I'm braiding over. I'm going to stop with, start with my top strand, the strand that's closest to this, third, this middle section, folding it over. Over, so that's my first section. I'm going to do it one more time just to get the braid started. Okay. So now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking these sections that you dropped and you're going to be adding them into the top section of the braids here on the side. So now it's very possible that as you're adding the sections that you've dropped, you might get confused. So that's where I have the mirror and 
it's very helpful in helping me find the next section. Now I see it. And it's, I think it's, it, oh, it's here. So I've got my next drop section. I'm adding it into the top strand. And I'm also adding some more hair into the pigtail on the other side. So braiding it over and over. Okay, now I'm going to get my next section. Here it is. And I'm adding it into the top section of this French braid on the side. Adding a little bit more hair into my bottom section. Over and over. One right here. So I'm adding it in. Adding some hair into the bottom. And so on and so on. It's, it's pretty much the same thing on both sides. And uh, it takes a minute and the mirror is definitely helpful. I added all my sections in, so for now I'm just going to make a regular braid to kind of seal it off while I work on the other side. Hopefully it'll look something like this when you get to this side, or when you finish this section. I'm going to take out these two metal clips first. Like I said before, you take your first section on the side and you divide into three. This is my left side. And I'm going to use this section that's closer to my center section and folding it over. That's my first pass. I'm going to do it one more time to get the braid started. Now I've got it. I'm going to add my first drop section into the top strand. And I'm going to add some of this hair here into the bottom. One thing I would suggest is definitely if you're a little shaky about it, make sure that you use your mirror. If you add a dropped strand into the braid, but you like leave a few hairs out, if you don't add the whole thing in, um, you actually will see that at the end result and it will probably annoy you because it doesn't look as nice. Um, so yeah, just make sure you grab the entire dropped strand and don't leave any little hairs behind. Um, because there's absolutely no way to kind of tuck them into place once you're finished with um, the hairstyle. When you get to this part, um, it's kind of up to you. In the original video, um, what she did is she had these two braids at the very end. And because the hair on the mannequin was, I want to say, probably APL, and mine's more like mid-back, um, she was able to take the two smaller ends and tuck them, she folded the ends, and tucked them into this sort of beautiful knot at the bottom. Now, I have a lot more hair than the mannequin, so I started to do that. I braided my hair all the way down, and I wrapped them together, and I found that the bun was actually pretty large, and it covered up all of this detail. And after spending 15 to 20 minutes on doing this, I was kind of like, what's the point? You can't see it. Um, obviously, if that's something, though, that you don't mind, that's an idea, is you braid the rest of them, your hair and just make in uh, like a bun. Or you can leave your hair in pigtails like this. Or you can just take the two braids and bobby pin them together or tie them together. What I was thinking of when I started to experiment with this was Dana Daenerys Targaryen because, you know, she has all these awesome braided hairstyles. And one of the things that they do on the show for her is she's got like the two braids here. So there's six sections and then they combine the six sections into three sections to make the one braid that goes down. 
So that's exactly what I have here and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the three sections and I'm going to combine them into three. I'm taking the six into three. So I've got two here, I've got one in the middle. Taking the other one out. And there's my two there. So I've got two, two, and two. And then just make a regular three stranded braid. When you finish your braid or your bun or whatever you're gonna do, you can put your jewelry back on, which is what I'm doing. And um, it's kind of up to you. You can sort of leave it or you can put um, some sort of hair clip into it. I've got one of my little flowers, which I love, and I'm gonna put it right here at the base of the middle braid. And I think, I think that's even. Yeah, there you go. Um, so you can see it's kind of like a basket weave, not like, I guess, the traditional basket weave, which is like the in, out, over, under kind of thing. If I can find some YouTube videos on that, if this is a style that you like, then I'll definitely put them in the information bar below. Um, but this is kind of the end result. Um, not impossible to do on oneself, but uh, definitely a little easier to do on a friend. Um, so maybe you can practice on somebody before you practice on yourself. I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you all in my next one.